Ooh. All right, YouTube, forgot to start recording. We won game one against, like, uh, Ramp Deck. We're now sideboarding for game two. Forgot to hit the go button. Oh, so we have two, three. I think I'm going to keep my hand. Though our duresses are bad, the glory bringers are kind of slow. I'm actually going to mulligan, I think. Because like one of our better draws is duresses and we can't even cast it. Our hands are pretty slow. But like if we get to our top end, our top end is going to be so good. I'm going to keep it. Again, I don't know if this is right or not, but it is what we are doing. P is nice, just another creature. I thought I was just playing like a Jun ramp deck. All right. Play our Kari Zev. All right, let's get smirked. Such is life. Seems like a grow from the ashes or a gift. Grow. Okay, nice. So let's get the swamp. So I think I'm just going to play. I kind of want to play the Chain Whirler because I don't want to give him the opportunity to push my token. So I want to just maximize damage. Even though, like, I doubt they're going to give me any creatures to smack until they play, like, big old Carney T. So I think I'm actually going to keep that Canyon slow. We're, like, slowly getting to the point where um, the rest probably isn't going to matter. So... I would like to keep this in order to cycle in the late game. Bro kicked. Okay. What if it's a Nexus of Fate deck? No, there's no blue mana. Alright, now we're just. I'm going to play the next Canyon Slow next turn, probably. Because I do want to. Uh, I do want to have black mana, but the black mana just might be useless at this point. What do you got, dude? Palaka Worm. Gain seven life, draw a card. So here's a hot take. Do we want to exert and kill this? Probably. Let me do the math. So, if, well, hang on. So... They can do, they can pump it. Yeah, so we're just going to swing out. We're not going to exert because they're dead next turn. Play this because we might have to pump our Doctor token. So they have the City's Blessing. Okay. So now I'm in a lot of trouble. I guess I'm not in that much trouble. So I could, s I think I'm just going to swing for five and then play Chain Whirler, play Scrap Heap Scrounger, and then play my Canyon Slow so that I can pump um, my artifacts as much as possible. I was going to cycle this, but I think having the mana with P and K is going to be important. Could be walking. They could have a rat. I guess they could have like Star of Extinction. At least I get to bring back my Scrappy Scrounger. And then they don't have a Palaka Worm. So we got another worm. Are you drawing a card? Whoa, creatures with flying can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. Well, that's just game. Creatures with flying can't attack you or planeswalkers. So I can only attack with these. And bow dangle. Block, block. So they have to block. Hang on. Wait, I might, I might get them. So they block my two artifacts, they're dead. They block my two, three drops, I pump, and they're dead. So they need one more card. They need like a fatal push. So 
I have six mana. Wow, dude, that bow bow dangle was a good hit. So that's five. Can sack both artifacts too to make them not blocked. That probably would have been a better play. There, at least at least this Thopter, right? That's five. Yeah, I don't play too too much standard, so I tend to I tend to miss those little things, you know. That would have certainly been a better play. If there are time for that, at least at least to sack. I probably so probably the right play would have been to sack the Thopter, bring back Scrappy Scrounger, sack Scrappy Scrounger and attack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that that that's just like a standard inexperienced thing. Like I have to, you know, shake the rust off. So that's just yeah, that's just my fault. That was dumb. Yeah, but like time for that would have been the right like we could have we could have like checkmated them, right? Because we, we sat there, they have one card in the hand. The only card that lets them do it is fatal push. So we could have at least we could have checkmated them. Been like, all right, you're dead. Six ways of Sunday, and it doesn't matter. <clears throat> um yeah i'll keep this hand it's a little awkward like i guess i can just play bodad on one play the tap land because it's not like this hard kieran's doing anything on the third turn probably anyways Why no cutting a braid you talking about from the 70 from the main deck like the the build up there orwin Pretty good draw. I don't quite understand your your question. Did I, did I keep it in after sideboarding? They said double ether hub. That's awkward. Okay, so now we definitely play the heart of Kieran. Because we can get our tap land on next turn. And then play Chandra or Hazdad on four. Why? I thought I did, right? If I left it in, it was purely it was purely a mistake. An oversight on my part. And I meant to cut it. Yeah, it's pretty agree. If I left the abrades in, it's pretty egregious. We're gonna get this countered. Recycling a land. Okay. We shall take that. The heart of Kieran likely wasn't gonna to do too too much for us anyways. Yeah, if I left if I left the abrade in, then it was a punt. Because like lightning strikes better than, like clearly better than a braid. It hits treasure map, which we saw. Wow, this is a this is one sick mana base. Now I don't even want to play my canyon slew to like help them out. I kind of just want to play my mountain. Like is that is that dumb? Just to make it so they can't field a ruin and fix their mana base. I kind of just want to put the squeeze on them. Because, like, their mana looks so awful. It cuts me off from playing a powerful 4-drop next turn. Unless I hit an untapped land. But if I hit a 3-drop, I can still play it. And it's not like any of my 4-drops are going to be that great next turn, probably. Because, like, I can't attack with Hazret. My opponent has to play something to the board to make Chandra really good. Because they have so many Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, like... 
tuck it to him. This could be loose. Like, I, I totally could see a world where this is done. But it's not going to give them the option to feel to ruin me. Okay, so they have Fatal Push. So now they're out of energy. Now they just have three colorless lands. Okay, so now they have a blue land. So attack with both. And then I think I'm gonna play I'm gonna play my canyon slow. I'm not gonna miss a land drop to not do this. This does leave me kind of hosed if my opponent plays like the Scarab God. Because I, I don't have, really have an efficient way to deal with it. So they feel me. We go get a swamp. They probably get a probably a swamp too. Scarab God's gonna be kind of scary. I think I'm gonna strike my opponent's face because if I draw land, then I can play. Has it and attack with it. It probably runs into a um, of Raska's contempt, but then like my Chandra lives. So like if one of these two lives, I'm happy. We they have double removal spell to get both of our bow dads. The bow dangles, tilt. All right, so let's get in with both. I'm not going to sack by my courier. So, like, if they kill it, they kill it. And then I think I'm just going to jam the Hazret. The Chandra doesn't, like, the Chandra doesn't really do anything. And Hazret just has a lot more upside, I think. Next turn, just getting it into play. I can disintegrate something. I can, you know, if I draw land, then I can disintegrate and attack. Yeah, we get the trigger on the stack, bud. You aren't doing anything. Okay, Liliana. Liliana goes and gets that. So they, they hit a Nikki B. Really want to land here. That's nice. So now we just play this. Hit this zombie. Kill Liliana. Attack Liliana. Attack Liliana. Then we're good. The game should be over. Because we're going to be able to disintegrate something. It's going to suck if they play Nicol Bolas here. They play Nikki B, and then we lose our disintegration. That's kind of annoying. But with a Hazard on the board, we should be good. Yeah, we're going to scoop it up. Okay. So what does Owen do against Blue Black? Versus red black, versus mono green, versus Esper Yuda, versus Hugh blue black mid range. He just cuts one, two, three. Uh, no, he bring keeps one in. Where is this? Keeps one in, cuts one of these, then just brings in Doomfall. Does not bring in. We can't link Phoenix, but I guess all of their removal exiles, which makes sense. Again, I'm not going to doubt what the O-Rat says. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're going to keep this. We need lands, but like we're on the draw, so we're likely we're more likely to find lands. 
Doomfall is a pretty sweet card. I kind of want more like Doomfalls also because like there's more so there's more reason to have Magma Spray and I think there's more reason to have X Fours than anything else. Excuse me. Well, that's the opposite of what we're looking for. But at least Bodad, Bodangle is going to start doing some work. I love Bow Career so much. All right. We're going to get a good little sweat next turn. We're probably going to get good sweats for the next like four turns because we just need to, if we just hit lands, we're good. Champion Witch would be kind of annoying. Like, it might be worth Doom Falling. Come on, one time. One time dealer. Yeah. So get in here. Bo Diddley going to town. We really want, like, a red source or a black source off the top of my deck so that I can either Chandra a um, Nikki B or I can. I'm going to Chandra. I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to disintegrate it. You're going to counter this? Sure. Ooh, they missed a land drop? That sucks. Dope. What's fair is fair. And again, if they go to kill Bowmat, we're just going to let them kill Bowmat. I think our hand's just too stacked to, to pitch. The absolute stress that this Bowmat Courier must be putting on my opponent. Because, like, they're sitting there and they're like, that's four cards. What's the saving grace is that I have so many cards in my hand. So, like, they know my hand's just full of bombs, so they probably can't kill this. They probably want, well, I don't know. All right. So, we're getting in with Bodad. I think I'm going to jam the Hazard. Because the Hazard's not really going to do anything right now. It does make it so that I can get more or turn my other cards into threat or turn change my cards into something. They're just clogging up my hand. And if they counter this or remove this, I don't I'm pretty okay with it. I'd rather like save this Chandra for a really important part of the game. So it's gonna get Supreme Wilder syncopated. Okay. So now we're going to attack, and then after combat, I'm going to play Chandra. One, two, three, four, five, six cards under Bodad. They might just let this resolve because it, it's just four mana shock trade with the Veraska's Contempt because I can't do anything with the. Uh, I can't do anything with the card or the mana. So like the Chandra is actually not super, it's threatening next turn. Yeah, so this is what they're going to do. I bet they have a counter spell. Hey, morning, Archmage. Johnny's going to let me know by 3 o'clock today what's going on. Okay, so now this kills my bow dangle. My bow diddly. And if we draw, we need to land off the top. Come on. Oh, was not specific enough. That sucks. That would have been so huge to get um to get Glorybringer into play. But at least we hit a black source, so it kind of unlocks our hand. Though this Chandra is just gonna like chew up. What's going on here? Oh hour of devastation? Gross. And we're just gonna jam this Glorybringer. We've got you threaten this Chandra. Okay, playing disallow too. Yeah, he's gonna know it. That's that's prime. I think he'd have you play the modern seat, Archmage. And he likes any of those decks. I think. I think. 
He's, he's, he's like cool with whatever you want to play. Team Constructed is a lot of fun. I know a lot of people, like, team tournaments can be a little stressful. Ooh, nice. Give me a little bit of Scarab God action, and then we're going into Nikki B. Oh, they just get back Bo Bodad. Nice. So at least we're going to be able to get Sh uh, Chandra off the board. Then maybe they just won't have anything else. Attack Chandra, Torch of Defiance, and Exert. You proficient with Dredge? All right, then I can tell them that too. Hopefully they have well, even if they have nothing, they're just going to reanimate this Glory Bringer. So if we hit a, if we hit an untapped Black Source, we might be able to be okay because they're just going to bring this Glory Bringer back, crack us for nine. And then if we hit untap black source, we can disintegrate and doomfall. And then we've like got a chance. So my opponent can then reanimate. They still can reanimate P and K. So I actually don't have a shot. Right, I'm just drawing dead. Yeah. Well, I imagine at some point he will come on Twitch chat. And I can just contact him directly. Nice. Well, I'll let him know. All right, begin sideboarding. I don't think I want to change that much. Like, I'm just going to go with what the L-Rat said, because he is a better Magic player than I. <clears throat> All right, give me one second. My wife's ready for coffee, so I will be right back. Are you ready for copy and fill? Johnny's playing. I just texted him. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this hand. I don't really want a mulligan in this matchup, I don't think. I think it's kind of resource-based. Johnny's playing Rugby 7, so he won't be back in. He won't be back uh, on Twitch chat today. I want to draw a 2-drop and then nothing but lands. That's what I'm looking to do. 2-drop and then lands. That's the plan. Scrap heap scrounger and then lands. Damn it. All right, now we just want lands because we get we get we get the power to win the game. Okay, no siphoner from our opponents. This probably eats a counterspell. But I guess my opponent's more of a Grixis control deck. So even if they field this, I'll get a black source and still be able to cast my spells. I think I'm going to be mana efficient and just jam this Hazret. 
Hazard's pretty threatening. It's not right now, so they might let it resolve. No, they're just going to counterspell it. So maybe I should have sideboarded differently because I saw Disallow. Probably. This is probably more of a control deck than, than a mid-range deck. My opponent plays Bolas. I'm going to play Chandra and take it down. Yeah, I probably missed sideboarded here. He's more armor craft judge. I think I missed. Yeah, I think I missed boarded. So they have what cast down here, or are they just gonna fix their mana? Something cool. Next turn, I can actually. Yeah, they're just gonna. Next turn, I can actually go. Um, Chandra. If they play Scarab, I can go Chandra tick up. Play Chain Willer, Exert Glory Bringer, which I'm all about. Which sets them back pretty big. Hopefully they just scam, jam Scarab God. They jam Nikki, we're still pretty good. Alright, that's kind of annoying. I still think I'm going to make the same play. Whew. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go like attack, exert. Just get creatures off the board. Play Chandra, tick up, hold my canyon slew. So I think I'm going to cycle it. We do kind of slow down our, our attack here a little bit because the glory bringer is exerted. But especially with a card face down from Gonti, I think I've got to like. Unless they missed. Hour of Devastation. Holy shit. I did not play around that. They missed with their Gonti? Yeah, looks like they just missed. Yeah. Holy shit. That Hour of Devastation was not good for the home team. Hazrit. Hazrit. Yeah, that's good to know. Holy shit, that was bad. Probably dead now. Maybe like anything that's going to get us. In hindsight, I think we lost. We're going to lose this match because I missed sideboarded. I think I should have like identified that there have duresses. Duress is good. Like, this isn't necessarily a mid range deck. We are flooding out. Confirmed. I keep keep stuff in our hand in case they start bolusing us. Okay, so at the end step, the beginning of my end step, I'm probably going to just hit this with uh, disintegration. Play this, play my land, go to my end step. No, nope, turn off auto yields, go to my end step. No! Oh my god, that's so bad. I just like hit F6 and like instead of go to the turn off auto yields or yield until I need a turn. Doomfall. Okay, we exile this. I should have shocked. I guess shocking doesn't play around. Um, whatever, we're dead. We're dead because I, I missed sideboarded, which was my mistake here. I missed sideboarded, then I just did like, I'll have it. I should not use the keyboard. So I probably should wait to do this at their end step. So let's go to the end step. I'm not going to play the Modern Challenge today, no Archmage. Not today. I've got to do um, Honeydew stuff with my wife. 
And then I'm probably going to watch the SCG, though. Bring this back to their hand. I probably should just scoop and move to the next game. Because they're just going to get back Glory Bringer. Glory Bringer Gaunty. Yeah, we're good. We're going to get this Gaunty back. The Glory Bringer is going to come back. Like, I don't know. There's probably just no need to play the game. Just keep it going here. Okay. Wow, we're already two matches in. That's quick. This will be my last league because I want to. Um, I just got stuff to do with my wife today, so that's why I got on. I got on early. I was probably I fired up about five forty-five a.m. Well, I guess a little. Yeah, about six o'clock. I guess. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I'm going to leave with a Dragon Skull Summit just to show some weakness. appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out this morning. Glad you all can start your morning here. All right. So what does this mean? I think they have Shock. I'm going to play the Heart. They have Shock or Spray. I'm going to just play around that because I think playing the Heart is pretty good. Because like we can, if they play an X1 or something like that, we can just... Chain Whirler and attack. Yeah, sweet. So this is the Flame of Keld version of this deck. This is a pretty good turn for us. And they do play Shock, so it was, I think it was a good play by not um, by not playing into it. Yield through this turn. This guy's got a. Okay, so they chain gang us. Yeah, we're just gonna like curve out on them. So let's go like this. Play Scrap Heap Scrounger. Crew the Heart. Crack for seven. With Disintegration. I don't think they have a draw. They have double removal spell. Double, but then I just I still get to crack them for four. Well, oh, looks like we're back. Are we back here on the on the old Chatteruski? We we're tweaking out for a second. My OBS disconnected. Okay. So they strike into that. Jeez. The hits just keep on coming. And then we crew and smack. Because this plays around like shock. I could shock my scrap heat scrounger, I guess. Though if they had shock, they would have used it. Alright, begin sideboarding. I had to restart the stream, but we're good. Okay, so against this deck, I want my magma sprays. Want my braids? Oh, I want to see what Owen did.
I'm going to say this is the red, red, mono red mirror. First, black blue, God Barrel's gift. He doesn't say mono red. I'm going to board the same way as the mirror. So, bring in these Chandra's defeats. Bring in Rekindling Phoenix. Bring in Glorybringer and Doomfall. And we're going to cut Bowdangle, Kari Zev, both Kari Zevs in them. So we need to cut Out versus Mono Red. I'll cut my Chandra's and my Hearts. So I all bow my curtains, all the hearts. So my it's a little messed up because I, I like changed a couple things. I changed like one card. So it brings in the magma sprays. I just need to bring in one more card basically. I think I'm gonna keep uh, just bring in another disintegration. It's a little clunky, but it's probably better than Chandra. We're back. We're back, Twitch chat. We tweaked out for a hot second, but we're good now. I think we're going to keep this. Kill, kill. Like, Chain Whirler is going to be pretty sick against their deck. I'm going to lead on my Dragon Skull Summit just to show a little bit of weakness. It's kind of just like posturing, I guess. They left him bow diddly do. It's interesting. I'm going to kill anything that's not an X1, probably next turn. So I would like to have my Lightning Strikes do something. I do need to mine my life total, though. Okay, so that Skull Scar Mage is going down. I'm going to do it on my main phase so they don't like prowess out of it. I'm just going to be mana efficient. I could I could magma spray it, but magma spray also hits Kenra. Tilt. What do we got? Okay, sweet. So we get we get two of these. Play the summit, the summit. Bang. Pot up, bang, pot up, bang. Get out of my face. We're just gonna magma spray this thing. I don't want to play my hazard into into this, and then we'll if they go double spell, we'll kill something. If not, we'll just glory bring her. Pretty good spot for the home team. I mean, my opponent's missing land drops. We've got we effectively three for one them. All right, we're gonna just hit that with Glory Bringer. Heal through this turn. Just gonna trade. Okay. This thing's got haste. That's pretty sweet. And I guess I'm just gonna lightning strike this. Just put them on a two turn clock here. We have another creature. Hazard's just so good. And all these. I probably could have played Soul Scar Mage and then they'd have been dead this turn, but they could have blocked. So they hit their third land. So here comes what a chain gang. No, it's a lava. Lame killed, okay.
I am drawn very well. We're just gonna glory bringer this. Get it off the battlefield because they're dead to a hazard act or dead to a hazard activation. All right, I scooped it up. Nice. Way to go. We curved out very well there. Drew what we needed. We drew well, curved out well. It was a good, good one for the home team. Hopefully we can take home these next two. Hopefully we can play these next two and then uh, with these next two, go four one. Make back some, uh, make back some stuff. Might open some treasure chests. But I'll, I'll open some treasure chests for some follows, because that's what I'm looking for. We need, I need like 55 more in order to get to where I need to be on my, uh, to just start applying for more stuff. So. So by just clicking the follow button, you're gonna help me play more cool stuff. Like I, I want to play some Legacy. Um, I want to play a couple different modern decks. I'd like to play Affinity. Affinity seems like a deck I would enjoy. Um, I like Affinity. Uh, what else do I like? Sounds pretty good. We're gonna keep this. A little slow, but um, I want to play Affinity. Uh, Mardu Pyromancer. Those are decks that I like. All right, so we're on the back side of a Soul Scar Mage. I'm gonna play my own Soul Scar Mage here just to get on the battlefield. So they can obviously kill it, which would suck, but I don't want to just not. I want to play a tap land. Like next time I can go tap land, then I can go untap land um, Pia. I might not even do that. I might just go like tap lands into Hazret or Chandra. If you guys want to support me further, go down to my YouTube page, which is linked below, and subscribe there. That is free. It does not cost you anything. Don't even have to open up your wallets. Report here. Little brother shot me a text message. Looks <clears throat> like my opponent's stalling out here for some reason. I will open a treasure chest for a follow. -up. I think I'm gonna open one right now just because I want to. I think these treasure chests are on their way up, actually. So I might be able to sell these soon. I only have 10 play points. What a crap chest. All right, pass through our turn. Alright, so this is gonna uh, abrade, sure. They don't have a lot of cards left in their hand, which does mean they're gonna get a, a good hazard, but. So here's a million dollar question Should I be cycling? Should I play an untapped land to cycle? If I play an untap land to cycle, then I have to go tap land into untap land in order to play a four drop. So I think I'm just going to play this one. Sequence like this just to, so that I can play my, uh, I can play Pia next turn. Even though it's pretty soft to Chain Whirler, especially when they have Soul Scar Mage in play. Ooh, no attacks. They probably just click through their combat phase there. Okay, so my opponent plays their own Pia. We're gonna have a Pia off. 
Now I wish I would have cycled. Hopefully we don't get Chang ganged. <coughs> no chain whirler one time. Yeah. I mean, we, we saw that coming, right? And I was going to take a shot here. And I'm probably going to play Soul Scar Mage and hit this. Um, or play the Chandra and hit this Soul Scar Mage. Because if I can play Hazret, I guess I actually can go like this. So I need to empty out my hand. So I'm going to go tick up, play. Play hard, Kieran. The Soul Scar Mage can wreck my um, wreck my heart, but I think I need to or wreck my Hazret. But I think I need to just like threaten to get Hazret in play, which is still going to be tough. My if my Chandra um, my Chandra like lives, then I should be able to get Hazret and make it so it can attack. We're block. We're blocking here. There's a tough part about this mirror. It's like it's we, we did kind of play into Chain Whirler, but I didn't really have any other play. It was either like play into Chain Whirler or do nothing. And both of it's either of it's pretty poor. But I think that's just kind of the cost of doing business with when these red mirrors. Like Chain Whirler is just so good. The chain gang. I think their pausing is good for the team. I really don't want to go up. Like I want to hit. I want to like start to manage my opponent's board. But I really would like to get this Soul Scar Mage off the board before I play Hazret. So block. They might sack this. Oh, this is a disintegration. Puke. I probably should just let this happen. And all these are going at Chandra. Okay. So I really need a one drop. All right, block, block with this, take two, four, five, pump is seven. We put them to 14, block takes seven, dead to pretty much anything next turn. Basically dead to just a whole lot because if they sack this to make it so this can't block then it's still it's only six so maybe it's better to hold back the Bomat career I do think I have to attack with Hazret in order to win this game this is kind of a Hail Mary but I think I think it's like a play to win which is what we're looking to do here that's a good draw. The one drops, like the drawing a one drop there gives me a chance. Super dead to another chain roller. Might actually be dead. Three, four, six, seven, one, pump, eight, nine. So they can do nine damage to me if they draw a chain roller. This is a glory bringer. It's probably it's game because I can just nug my Hazret. The Kindling Phoenix is pretty good. So they probably just attack with these two. All right. Trade. Take six. No, I don't think we have any outs, really, unfortunately.
So we're going to attack with Hazret, play another Hazret, block here, take lethal. So I have to find a way to kill the Rekindling Phoenix. Block, block, take five. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. We just got out aggroed, which... Okay, so how does he board in the mirror? I think he cuts out all of his middle game. So he cuts hearts, Bodad, and Chandra. Brings in Glory Ringer, Phoenix. Glory Ringer, Phoenix, Doomfall. Spray, 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 defeat, defeat. And he brings in the Abraid. I kind of want to bring in this, the next Disintegration. I think I'm going to cut a card and go like this. No, there's no new cards there, Bueno Gordo. I, I just took Owen's, I took Owen's list and played it. It might be right to play new cards, but I don't know enough about Standard to really tweak anything too much. I did tweak one thing. So like, I think the Zombies deck is pretty good, so I added another Soulscar Mage. So we're going to play Land Pass. If we we want to just hit Land Drops with this hand. It's pretty sketchy if we don't, but we just need to hit two. And then we're kind of doing it. Land. All right, Chandra's defeat is not bad. Nice thing is that we also have two soul, three soul sky mages, so we can handle Hazret a little better. Is that card just like nuts? It's probably getting magma sprayed. All right, land. Oh yeah. We're just gonna run out the chain whirler. Like we're not looking to play the control game here. Like we're just looking to kind of curve out. All right, so this gets marked. Okay. Like it kind of feels bad if my opponent plays a PL. Like we could have mopped some of that up. No, not gonna play there, Ben. That's limit. That's a limited GP, right? We gotta chain gang it up. Okay, PS. That's kind of that's a little rough. Hope we draw lands. So we can play with Kingdom Phoenix. Didn't draw land, so no Kindling Phoenix. Yeah, I'm not too much of a limited player, Ben. I do like playing limited, but it just it, it's tough to put the time into playing limited. <coughs> I'm playing in the only GPs I think I'm playing in are Detroit. I played in GPDC earlier this year because I was right in the backyard. Okay, so. Hopefully we get to double spell. Like, we might be able to kill something of relevance here. I'm not going to block this. Because I might have to take two spells to kill a phoenix. Alright, Soul Scar Mage. Okay. This is Chain Whirler, maybe. I'm going to Lightning Strike the Soul Scar Mage. I'm going to keep my Chandra's Defeat for next turn. If my opponent's got, what, two spells they could have gotten out of that? Dang. So I anticipate a Chain Whirler in my future, but there's not really a whole lot we can do here. All right, looks like we're getting disintegrated. Yep. Yep. We're gonna play this. I wouldn't mind just trading off P and Ks. They have land Glorybringer, like on the on the hurl. But that is life. If it is what they have. 
What about you, Ben? Are you, are you are you a limited? Do you like playing constructed more than limited? Or were you thinking of going to GP Minneapolis? Oh God! Don't do it to me. All right, Chandra's better than Glory Mirror, I think, because we can. Oh, it's definitely because we can get rid of this, and we get to loot, which is nice. We can draw lands like Screw Beats Flood, so. I think I gotta get this off the board. I don't think I'm gonna loot. Though I could just get rid of this Hazret. Nah, that's stupid. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang back here. My 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 hand's so good that I just wanna survive to cast all my spells. We'll block. Okay, land for Glory Ringer. Yeah. We could get disintegrated, which would suck. Or Chandra's defeat of their own. I'm gonna hold back my P and K though. Yeah, here we go with the disintegration. Are we gonna get two spells out of this now? Our glory. Okay, that's fine. So we're just gonna hold. I think that I've got the well, I guess my opponent's drawing we're on parody now. That's kind of unfortunate. We're going to play the Phoenix. I guess maybe I should be looking to trade Pia's now that I think about it. Maybe I should have been doing that because like their Pia is kind of scary because we're at a low life total. All right, we want land next turn so we can play Azeroth. And I think we're going, we're attacking with a lot. Oh, tail. Now, I think I'm going to try to, I'm going to offer a, a Pia trade. Leave this Thopter back. And then I'm going to play Scrap Heat Scrounger, lightning, hopefully lightning strike something. And then next turn, Slam Hazret. Okay, so we are going to trade Pia's. Kind of unlocks my opponent's Pia if they've got one. So they have two removal spells. They get to eat my Rekindling Phoenix. But we're we're good with that. If they sink their whole turn into this, I'm going to Lightning Strike this Doctor, I think. Well, I don't think I'm actually going to. Because they're sinking their whole turn. I guess it's their whole turn anyways. They're going to need another removal spell. Yeah, we're just going to let this happen. Play Scrap Heap Scrounger. Lightning Strike anything. Then play Hazret. Chain Whirler would suck. Okay. So yeah, we're definitely just going to hit this Rekindling Phoenix with a Lightning Strike. Just put a lot of pressure on my opponent. And then play Hazret and swing. Yeah, I mean, all the cards are still really... It's, it's the same deck, right? Still really powerful. I'm going to hold my land. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> All right. I'm just going to send it in there. That feels powerful. Like, I've done decent with it. I made some mistakes in my last league. I think a lot of the losses that I have are for with this deck are my inexperience with standard. Like, because standard's a different style of play than modern. Like, it's more about establishing a game plan and playing to that game plan. I'm going to keep. Um, playing to that game plan and such. 
And I don't necessarily play that way very often. And I don't recognize how to sideboard and such sometimes. So I think I think a lot of my losses of this deck are my fault. Just inexperience and not knowing. Which is nice. It's always nice to be able to point to something and realize, like, yes, that's my fault. So unless I get something in a Chain Whirler this turn, I'm probably going to play P and K. Yield through this turn. Which I'm not a very good standard player. It takes me a lot of reps to get back into that mindset because it's, it's different than the other formats. Okay, so now we're going to Chain Whirler away that Thopter. And then we're probably going to play this Phoenix for defense. Okay, we're going to have a Phoenix off, it looks like. I could have attacked because they might block with a Phoenix, and then I could have, uh, was, then I could have like upgraded it, but that, that means I'm not really using my mana this turn. I feel like if I tap out for the rest of the game, my opponent can't win. Here comes a glory bringer of their own, or they got an hour of glory of this. Okay. So now they're coming in with this thing. That was unfortunate. So now we're actually going to wait. I'm going to likely abrade this Rekindling Phoenix and then try to smoke it with a Glory Bringer when I untap. And then just hope they miss. Which it does appear that they are missing. It looks like they are missing. Whew. So exert. I take a lot of damage. Deals three damage to target creature. So I'm taking three, five, nine. I'm going to four. So I can't even attack with my glory bringer next turn, which is not good for the home team. Which maybe means I shouldn't have. I shouldn't. I should have killed something else. So take five. Block take five. Yeah, we're just dead. Hand was just a little too expensive. I mean, I can go. Pia, block, chump, trade, chump, take three. But then there's glory bringers in play next turn. Yeah. So maybe I played the wrong thing by not playing my Pia because Pia insulated me more against glory bringer. But I was still, so if Pia the Thopter, I would have traded with both of these and still taken eight instead of taking nine. And they still have the elemental. I still have the Rekindling Phoenix. So that was probably a better play. I don't think it saves me, but I do think that it was probably a better play. So I think I made a mistake. And that's just like learning decks. Like something that I'm not very good at. I'm not a very intuitive magic player. I need to like do reps and I need, I need to like learn the ins and outs of a deck. So this is going to be my last match of the day. Uh, do one more. And then, uh, then I'm going to sign off here. <clears throat> we right back here.
Love you. Okay. Yeah, like I've lost. I've lost two. I think I lost two matches this league. That were one match was me not identifying what my opponent was doing. Keep this. Um, another match was me. Uh, was me just? I think I made uh, a couple poor plays. So. Oh, nice. I can chain whirler that. I guess we're gonna play this bow mat. I, I don't I don't think they're gonna block. But they might. Yeah. So hopefully they go like servo schematic and we just get to bang. Just get them. Do they keep a one lander? No. No. Weird. I don't know what this thing does. I'm gonna play my, even though it's kind of mopey, doesn't do too, like I think it could do more. I'm gonna play this before they play like a Vanellish Marshall. I mean, probably not going to be able to kill this thing, unfortunately, until we glory bringer it. Just blue in this deck. Oh, catch his monument. Wow. Well, we have a play. So let's attack with our chain whirler. I don't think they might block. Okay. Now I'm just going to kill this monument. I guess. I guess it would have been better, like, no, because they would have just traded if I attacked with Bone Courier to sell that more. Militia Bugler. They put another one. Wow. So they are gonna start cloud blazering me next turn. But like whatever. I think we're I think we're gonna be able to overpower that. Get rid of this, so my opponent doesn't really have a good good block. Then we're gonna be able to attack the Hazret, which is pretty decent. I can even like ship in with Bowmat. Yep, so there's Cloud Blazer, which is pretty good for them. Well, that's Vigilance. That card's nice. I don't think Heart of Kieran is that important to what we're doing. I think it's Probably better to just, because like we're gonna be attacking. I don't think we're in the market for like crewing things up. Okay. Okay, so there's monument. Monument's pretty big. They have another bugler, so like, aviary mechanics really good because they just keep bouncing it. So now we're in the market for a chain roller. Pretty quick. Though this glory bringer is going to clean up. So I guess we didn't actually like get card advantage with Bowman Courier. We kind of just like filtered. Like we traded go Bowman Courier for and Hard Cannon for two random draws. So mentor militia bugler. That's probably that's poor of me. So I think I'm gonna kill this aviary mechanic. We don't want them to be able to bounce it somehow.
they're basically just fogging, and we're going to be able to, like, start smoking them. I shouldn't have played my land. I should have activated Hazrite. Like, that was a punt. Because they'd have two more. Like, they'd be dead this turn. Because three, one, negative one. This is this is the nut. I get to draw a card and activate the bugler. Yes, yeah, so like there, there's a totally a world where they just get us here. So we might not even attack next turn. So they found aviary mechanic, which is gonna get them like. A lot of good stuff, so let's go block. So we have a couple real good ones here. So what does Scrap Heap do? Scrap Heap doesn't really do anything. So block, block, block here. Yeah, I think we're just going to pass. I'm going to ditch the Scrap Heap Scrounger and then reanimate it. Like, there's just no sense in attacking. Because, like, the Hazret. We have the ha the Hazret's lethal and the, and the Glory Bringer's lethal next turn. They're going to be able to do some shenanigans, but I don't think anything like that impressive. They just need to draw a bunch of cards here. And they basically need to answer both of these cards, and they only have four mana to do it. Especially if they go to draw cards. Now they only have three mana to do it, and there's two lethal cards. So, while what my opponent is doing is sweet, it looks like it's going to, uh, it's not going to be quite enough. And again, they would be dead if we had played right. But we muffed up. They don't bounce anything with Aviator Mechanic. It's a Cloud Blazer lets them keep going, but they would need a land to do that. They have six cards in their hand, so like, you know, they can. The world is their oyster. Knight of Race type. Yeah, they scoop it up. Okay. So I don't really know how to side break into this deck. I'm going to assume that Unlicensed Disintegration is pretty poor and that Bomat Courier are pretty poor. So these probably aren't great. And these probably aren't great. Though they might have something like Lyra after sideboard. So let me look at what else they have. The Abrade's really good. Um, the sprays don't seem like... Creature removal does not seem very good against this deck. I think the flyers are probably good. So I could easily go these four for these four. I could cut a soul soul scar mage. Mono flyers. That's what I think. I could cut my disintegrations, but like they like they easily could have Lyra. I probably can cut these lightning strikes and bring in like disintegration doomfall. Doomfall only goes upstairs, so, so that's not good. Maybe I'll just keep a lightning strike in. I just don't want to get wrecked by Lyra. Maybe like Kari Zev is probably not great because like Ragavan just gets dealt with. Though it's tough to kill Kari Zev. Yeah, let's try this. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> All right, this is a pretty good hand. I don't think you can mulligan a chain whirler against this deck. This is just a deck that thinks it's a thing, I think. Because, like, it's one thing, I think you can play tokens decks if you have reliable anthems. But like this doesn't even have really reliable anthems.
So if they don't have, if we don't have an Abrade, this will catch them on you. It's going to be tough. So let's get in here for one. Play Scrap Dad. We're going to hold this Chain Whaler until it's really sweet. Two drop mono and killed. Is the two drop guy the one that deals damage? So drawing a cloud blazer. Cloud blazer. Like the two one. I and I haven't tried that yet, Acretia. This is just the deck that my teammate's gonna play. So I, I figured like might as well stream it to give it a whirl. I would assume that it's still very good, but it's good to know. So I'm gonna this chain whirler is going to be sweet at some point. I really want to wait for it to be sweet. <coughs> He's a wizard for wizards lightning. Exelon's binding. Okay. I could chain whirler, but I'm gonna get so much value out of my chain whirlers that, especially with the soul scar mages in play. I played against that deck. I streamed. I played against that deck a couple times, and it just does not seem very good, in my opinion. Or it does not. It doesn't seem very good against like the chain whirler decks. Like uh, that deck got ruined by chain whirler. All right, that's a pretty sick draw. No, this was stupid. This was so stupid. I messed up here. I should have just played my Goblin Chain Whirler, gotten in for two more points of damage. They're at eight, then disintegrate something next turn. Yeah. But I think now we're going to hold it. I guess, like, the longer the game goes, as long as they is like, better for me. Because, like... We pretty much have answers to everything they're doing, I guess. So even though even though it wasn't it wasn't very good, like it's not terrible for us. Okay, so there's monument. So what are we bouncing? That's a land. That's cute. So here's where we chain where we're. And then we swing with our team. So I know they have a Cloud Blazer left in their hand. So if we get in like any sort of damage here, we're good. They're gonna have to start they're gonna start chump blocking. All right, so we're going to get the first striker. I guess we might as well get rid of the aviator mechanic. Because, like, if they start bouncing mechanics, it's not good. And a 1-1 first striker doesn't really matter. So let's get rid of the aviary mechanic. Next proof from black is kind of annoying, but... Heal through this turn. Yes, I agree. We could lose this still, I think. Well, now we probably can't. So let's start with this. Then they have to block at least two of these. So they're just not going to have a board. Then we're going to abrade this 
um, O'Ketra's Monument, and then the game's likely over. Uh, let's get rid of the Bugler. Oh shoot, I missed out on a point. Always, I do not play with prowess enough to be really good with this. Which sucks. Which is like a punt on my part. It makes it like, even though Chain Whirler is likely lethal anyways. Like, I mean, we can skin the cat 42 different ways here. But that was just a little sequencing loose. Cloud Blazer doesn't do it. Jeez. Well, I don't even know what this could be. It's not like it's Path to Exile. They block. Okay. Alright, so we may back our treasure chest. So that's it for this.